Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you think it hadn't been hot? Look at my hostas. I mean, they're just cooked. Look at that one. It's just unbelievable. It is 88 degrees, and you would think it was like springtime. It has been so hot. I mean, you can't even go outside. We had a yard sale Saturday. I woke up at 4.30 in the morning, and we got out here. Of course, the sun came up about 6.15. We were out here at 6 o'clock. You can't get out too early because the mosquitoes eat you up here. And uh, we had a yard sale from 6 until 8.30 a.m. Two and a half hours because we, at two and a half hours, the sun had got above those trees over there and was shining in to my two-car garage and it was cooking us. But there was cars lined up all down my street, which is dead end. My street's dead end, by the way. And... Uh, Jerry was helping us out, and I told Jerry, I said, you go, Jerry, get sign up, and, and uh, we'll clear these people out of here. But we made $800 in two and a half hours, and that's not even a tip of the iceberg. So let me tell you what's going on. I have not said anything to anybody. I've talked to a few people on the side in private conversations, but uh, we, or I have, I have already purchased, let me get out of this sun. I have already purchased a 35-foot um, travel trailer fifth wheel and uh i've got a truck lined out it's going to be a ford 250 four wheel drive uh and uh i ordered some parts today matter of fact so that i could uh, convert the fifth wheel to a uh, uh, a different system but anyway um and i don't have it here yet but I, i've got to go get it it's down in hot springs arkansas and uh like i said the trailer's already been purchased i hadn't got the truck yet but the guy's a, a friend he's a car dealer it's his personal vehicle he's going to he told me to hang on to it till I, you know, till I bought it. So, and we're going to travel. We're going to travel around the United States. I've never had the opportunity to do it. I've been to Colorado. I've been to North Carolina. I've been to Chicago. But most of the things I've ever done uh, here is I've, you know, business stuff. I, I might fly into Dallas and spend two days, not say a thing, and fly back. And, and same thing on uh, North Carolina. I did spend a little time in Colorado, a couple of weeks. Uh, which was was nice. I mean, it was pretty neat. I was really young, and um, so I'm looking forward to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to semi-retire. I'm going to close the business down, and uh, we're going to sell the house, and we're going to hit the road. And uh, which is kind of <laughs> a little scary. You can about imagine. It, this is like the ultimate bug out, <laughs> and uh, we're going to go from you know 2,600 square feet down to about 500 square feet. But I'm, we're all looking forward to it. I, I have worked out a thing to where I've never, I don't know if you've ever heard of, they're called camp workers. And uh, what you can do is you can travel around the United States and you can go to national forests, you can go to state parks, you can work for private individuals that own uh, RV uh, parks and stuff like that. And they will let you stay there for free, all utilities, park your RV, and you work. Now you can either work and get paid by the hour, or you can work a few hours a week, and that's all. And they'll give you the free site to where you're, um, you're. They, they call that a volunteer worker. Uh, actually, the government, the IRS, has a little line there that says if they do that, there's, you know, there's no taxes on something like that. So a lot of folks do that that are that are retired, and you know they're drawing their pension or something like that. And they travel. So that's that's what we're going for. I've even uh, got a few people that have some products. That uh, that I may sell on, on uh, out there, uh, demonstration products. I, I really like doing cooking with uh, uh, cast iron, like the Dutch ovens and stuff like that. I thought maybe I might work on something like that, to where I would go to an RV park and I might demonstrate that to the people in the park that there are what you call the annuals, the annual people that go around and you know in the summertime and stuff like that, or even even the full-time RVers. Uh, but anyway, there's all many things there, and I'll explain it. But this is this is the main thing. I'm going to take you on this adventure with me. Uh, as most of you know, this channel I've got. When you click on a video, you do not see an advertisement. I have never monetized this channel, and I've, I watch it though. I watch what the numbers are, and I can go look and see how much I could be making. At some point, I may monetize it. But I want to make another channel that has something to do with RVing and still preparing because I think those two can go together. Uh, I noticed that. You know, somebody does a bug out bag, 
and they go out and they put it on and they try it out and they come back and the first thing they say in their video is I've got to take less out of that you know I, I can't carry as much as I thought I could well that's what we're running into now with this RV because it has a lot to do with weight and balance and I've got to make sure that we uh, you know we get it all balanced out and everything like that so what I'm hoping to do is do videos first on like you know how to you know how to uh, keep your maintain your RV maintain everything on your RV uh, cleaning the tanks how do you flush the tanks how do you keep down odors on your tanks how you run your generators and probably any problems I run into which I'm sure I'm going to because the travel trailer I bought was a 2010 so it's five years old I'm sure it's gonna have some problems it's got three pullouts on it so I'm sure that's you know five years of pullouts that that might be a problem I'm gonna have to you know do that too but I've got at least two months here and maybe even longer to get it ready learn how to operate it and uh, do all that stuff I'm gonna start that new ch a new channel and the new channel is gonna be something about like prepared you know I don't know something RVing something you know something I'm gonna come up with a name get, get that all taken care of and uh, then the, maybe I'll maybe I can draw folks uh, that you know that are looking at bug out from our groups over in the prepping side and then maybe I can get some of the folks that are RVers to go to the prepping side and see what we're doing or what you guys are doing to really save on uh, you know space and weight and, and you know starting a fire I mean I, you know I, I don't care if they are 70 years old they probably think that'd be the neatest thing in the world learning how to start a fire with a you know with a, uh, a, a any, anything flint or whatever so uh, that's what I'm hoping to do, and then I'm going to monetize that channel. I would love for you guys to come over and follow me, because I am going to videotape every place we go. I'm going to videotape the campsites. I'm going to say campsite number 53 is the best one at this R, you know, at this uh, uh, RV park. And that way, if you ever want to go there, or anybody else wants to go there. Uh, they'll know which one's the best ones because you know you don't have any idea is it in the shade or is it in the sun you know is it next to the dumpster or is it you know next to some light poles that you don't want light uh, just all kinds of things I, I'm, I'm, I've got several ideas but I don't really know you know exactly what I'll do but I know this I'll have to do all my own maintenance and, and stuff like that so uh, I wanted to let you know that and uh, I had to tell my family before I, I put it on here so you guys stay tuned give me you know a little time to work this out probably two weeks before I get the RV here once I get it here then I'm going to start working on it I'll show it to you and uh, we'll go from there and I thank you guys so much for watching